Cowboy! Howdy! Yeah, I'm like a hat. I'm what's, with, what's with the cowboy? What, what's up with the hat? You know, that, that's got a lot of special memories. It was given to me by uh, Kiris, aka Adrian. He used to work for Skulk. He's got now his own business called CPW. Mm. And Skulky, they branded me Cowboy. And since then, the name is stuck. So it's Cowboy. Yeah, they call me, everyone knows me as Cowboy. Long ago, you had an orange RS2000. Yes. What happened to it? I sold it. Why? Just got. Nah. Things led up to things and things led up to things, and I sold the car, got out of racing for a while, needed to chill. So now you've got this new panel wagon. Yes. And oh, that's a nice name. A panel oh, wagon. A it's panel. actually a panel van. Is it but you've got a station wagon, so it's a panel wagon. It's not a panel bar. A panel bar. Panel bar. That's it. Because we're in Midval, in the Midval area. Yeah, we're Afrikaans here. Yeah. So panel bar. How long did it take you to build the car? It took a long time. Um, I bought the car out in front of Bell Park, close to us. Uh, drove it from there to Mario's full boost. He done the ladder bar suspension for me. And then the car stagnated for a while. Long time. And after that, after he finished with a with a uh, ladder bar suspension, came back here and we finished it. Okay. Four roughly four years. Four years. Four years. The motor's stronger. Eh? Unfortunately we had a mishap with two motors. First one we built stock bottom end. Went to Talton, ran a bedding, came back home, put new beddings, ran another mishap, ran another bedding. So we've killed two motors, bottom end wise. Why is that though? Why did you just. I can't answer you. Okay. If I knew mm. it would have been two, it would have been one. Tell us about the bottom end though. It's got Titan main caps, worked oil pump, Iris piston from Mo, mm. a turbo nose along with the uh, Eagle rods, and there it's fully worked. Ryan Krauer, retainers, springs, valves, cams, the works. So the motor is capable of 1,300 dollars. Mm. What's it got now? It's got 660. So what do you boost down the track? I can't tell you. We boosted 1.6 bar before. When we built the new motor, we boosted a little bit less because the compression is a bit higher. The compression was at 8.5 to 1, it's now at 10 to 1. So obviously we're making a little bit more horsepower at a little bit less boost because of the compression. Mm -hmm. We had 1.5 bar boost, 660 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see what happens. But since Talton, we've changed the diff ratio. The diff ratio was a bit out. So I've changed, I went to a longer ratio. Time will only tell. We'll see what happens. We're out in the plot. Yes. So yeah. where do you test? Where do you... <laughs> I used to test out at Midval. Uh, the first time the car was done, we went to Midval, phoned Nino Venturi, went out to Midval, we tested there. Uh, since then, I haven't had a chance to test again. So what's your best time and speed? I'm actually embarrassed to say it, but... I think it's a 10.02 at 198. Okay, why is that? At Talton. Just trial and error, you're still... You're still uh, so, most, yes, yes, mostly trial and error, but um, I think... Uh, when we built the car, we were going for a six-speed gearbox, BMW M3, M5, six-speed gearbox. So I think it's a bit of trial and error. Mm. We uh, got the diff ratio a bit wrong. We worked it out on the drag calculator, the Moroso drag calculator. Uh, whatever we worked out was obviously wrong, because uh, 80 meters before the traps, we didn't limit in fourth gear. It's a six-speed box, though, but we want to go through in fourth, because you want to avoid the the extra shift to fifth because it's time consuming. So we want to go through and fourth. So I changed to a longer ratio and we need to go and test that uh, tuna wars round four. So you're expecting a nine? Do a nine second. We, it didn't happen. Mm. It was damn close though. It didn't happen. Mm. So I'd say yes. We're expecting a nine again. Sure. Hopefully. See what happens. Mm. You're running big tyres at the back, huh? It's big tyres but I wouldn't call it big tyres though because Butler Motorsports changed the whole drag racing scene. Big tyres, we used to know back in the day, was a 12 inch tyre. When you go to the track nowadays and you find Butler Motorsport at the track, you find your tyres are very small compared to theirs. Mm. And if you look at the times, then you'd understand why. Mm. So my tyres are small now, but they, they're big enough for what I want to do. What is the car weight? I've put on a bit of weight since you've seen me last. So give or take 50 kilograms 
if I can weigh in anything between 1.2 and 1.3 MIP. You've put on a bit of weight, is it because you've been eating too much plot food or is it just uh, your wife's been feeding you hectic or what's happening there? I've got a, I've got a very young Buddha Macy and she just recently learned to uh, cook uh, Buddha course. And uh, she's been uh, spoiling me Monday to Friday with lack of food. So I've put up in a weight and of course the alcohol doesn't help a lot so right. we carry on, what can we do? Okay.